Pisces 25, the purging of the priesthood. One is reminded of Henry VIII in England, who uh, was very strong in putting down the Catholic monasteries and so on. He ransacked them and took all the wealth that they had accumulated into his own personal coffers, partly because um, he wanted to escape from the power of the Pope in order to fulfill his need for divorce and, and having a son and, and so on. And uh, partly because the priesthood had become very corrupt indeed. And this degree is mainly talking about the corruption in our society. Look around you, everywhere you look pretty much, there is corruption. Of course in our politicians and uh, business, of course. But you look around in your, your social group, your friends and so on, and you sort of look there for principles of truth and justice and compassion and so on. And you might need to look very carefully before you find it. It's universal, the corruption of our species. It's a, it's a terrible thing. We've incarnated into awful times, awful times. But there must be a reason for that. And perhaps the reason is this indicated here, the purging of, out, of, of corruption, taking out that corrupting factor. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to do that by just asking the president of America to stop being such a bully and, and the president of other countries to stop being so um, nasty towards their people and, and, and so on and so forth. We can ask them politely and, and <laughs> it's um, not going to produce a result. Um, there can be riots and we can break windows and put cars on fire. That's a popular thing this week as I speak. Um, this is going on in, in many cities in America in, in um, rebelliousness against the authority of the police, against the minorities and so on. And it's happened again and again. Riots happen all the time and they achieve almost nothing except for bolstering up the power of the, the police and, and the military. It doesn't work. However, we do have to purge ourselves of corruption. Now, if we can do that, then our own experience of the corruption in the world will minimize, will become almost inconsequential. There is always going to be nastiness and, and, and deceit and lies and bullying in the world. It's that kind of world that we're in. There's a reason for that. It's actually useful for us to live in this terrible place for, in order to come up with a response to that. And our response must not be to get back at those who are behaving that way. That's just perpetuating the problem. Our response must be to take responsibility for our contribution to the corruption. Even if, if it's only a tiny, tiny little thing that we think is of no consequence, Nevertheless, if we're corrupt a little bit, then we are corrupt, and that needs to change. Um, I remember a very um, self-righteous client I had once when I was an accountant who, who, who was really sure that because he was a Christian, he was one of the better businessmen. And, and, and I said to him once, I've never met anyone ever who is not a thief. And he looked at me partly confused and partly angrily because I'd popped his bubble of self-righteousness. And I said, they, if you work in an office, you always take home a paper clip that's not yours. If you work in a factory, you always turn up uh, late, leave early if you can, or, or something. We all take advantage from our circumstances. It's the nature of reality and we all tell lies a little bit too. Some people lie because it's their way of being even. It is the case that all of us is corrupt. All of us. What can we do about that? Well, little by little, step by step, we move towards being less so. Tell fewer lies. <laughs> Steal 
less from people. Um, be less selfish, less bullying, just make a step in the right direction. Knowing full well that one step in the right direction is all you can ever achieve, moment by moment. We can't ever deal with this. We will never lack corruption, both inwardly and outwardly. But sometimes we have to purge the corruption. In other words, go through a process of an accentuated form. Catharsis, for example, through a, a counselling or a therapy session. Um, going through a major experience in life which is very upsetting and dealing with it well. In other words, the purging comes to us. So, one way or another, we sometimes have to really change on a radical level our circumstances so that we can move away from a certain level of corruption towards something which is less corrupt. And like I say, it's the only step you can ever take in that direction.